Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I just filmed this makeup look. It's like a glam, like a bronzy glam look. Perfect for the summer months. Even in the winter, actually, I will wear this because it's a little smoky. Uh, added some glitter on my eyes, which I usually don't do. I was feeling, what's the word? What's that word? What's the word? Spontaneous. Um, but yeah, this is what the look looks like. This is very glowy, a lot of highlight going on, very simple, easy makeup tutorial. This did not take me that long. I like my makeup to be easy, achievable, quick, fast. Hey guys, so before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed what you saw, and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Now let's get started. I'm first just applying my primer all over my face and then going in with my foundation concoction. I'm just mixing my YSL and Giorgio Armani foundation to get the perfect color. And then just stippling that on my face with this Ulta and It Cosmetics brush. I'll link it down below. Then I'm just covering any blemishes with the concealer and jumping right into my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. Um, it's a great pencil. The applicator is very thin, so you're able to get those hair-like strokes. And now we're going to conceal. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm gonna just apply that under my eyes, on my chin, the bridge of my nose, and a little on my forehead. And then we're gonna blend out with our Morphe Shape and Contour Sponge. And then set that concealer in place using my Patrick Star and MAC Powder. And mixing that also in with Hello Flawless Foundation powder and now I'm already and now I'm starting on my eyes I am using the Candy Johnson and Too Faced palette and I'm going in with the shade cream puff as my transition shade this color is perfect because it's like a nice light brown shade it doesn't add too much pigment and now I'm going into the Anastasia soft glam palette and using the shade rustic on my crease and these colors are very pigmented, so be aware. Um, I do find that I need to blend them out a little more than some other shadows that I use, but the payoff is great. You really do get a lot of color on those lips. And clearly, I, I think I applied too much in that clip. And then we're just gonna keep blending, blending, blending. Now on the outer corning, I'm outer corning. <laughs> on the outer corner, I'm using the shade Cypress Umber from the same soft glam palette and applying that to the outer V to add some depth and dimension. And then just using the brush I used for my transition to blend that all out. And next I'm going to mix Stila, two Stila liquid shadow colors. <laughs> Um, the shades are Rose Gold Retro and Kitten Karma. So I just mix those two and apply them to the inner corner of both eyes. And I typically don't use glitter, but on this day I was feeling a bit spontaneous. And then I just go in with the shade Sienna from the Soft Glam Palette and apply that above the glitter to mix in all the colors. I wasn't so pleased with that color, but I made it work. And then I'm just applying bronzer all over the face because honey, we need to look tan. So I apply it on my forehead, on the cheek area, on the jawline as well. And I'm using the lightest shade from the Chocolate Soleil. And now I'm just going in with this Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's called the Bronze and Glow Palette. I use the light palette. They have two versions. I use the lighter one. And I'm just going in with that dark shade 
to contour the face because it's a really nice uh, ashy brown. It's not too warm, so it helps with contouring and it's the perfect color. Doing a little nose contouring. I really don't contour my nose perfectly because I really don't care. And now the next step. What is the next step? Oh. <laughs> the next step, I'm just using that same MAC and Patrick Star powder to snatch the contour. And then I'm applying this blush from Too Faced Cosmetics. It's in the shade I Will Always Love You. Um, if that's incorrect, you'll know down below. And then I'm just removing that powder with this Eco Tools Define brush. Doing a little dance, setting that face, honey. And now I'm just curling my lashes because I'm going to apply my mascara. And the mascara that I use here is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade, I think it's either Black as Black or Carbon Black. I really like it because it vo it adds volume while also separating the lashes and it does not clump. I hate mascaras that clump. I find that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara clumps on me a lot. Um, so that kind of just sits in my mascara draw. So I should probably get rid of it. Um, now I'm just cleaning up my lash because I had some leftover glue on it. And then putting more glue on it. And I wait 30 seconds before I apply the eyelash to my eyes. And the key is to apply them as close to the lash line as possible. And as you see here, I'm kind of struggling to apply this lash. Real life, lashes don't always go on perfectly. Just got to be patient. And now I'm just going in with the shades Rustic and Cypress Under, um, or Cypress Umber, <laughs> under, is that, on the lower lash line, there we go. Smoking that out. And then I use an Anastasia brush that came with the Soft Glam palette to diffuse that because it was looking a bit harsh. And then I'm using the Stila Eye Liquid Eyeshadows once again and applying that in the inner corner and on to my favorite part, highlighter. I used the Morphe sponge when it's damp to apply my highlighter. I like this method much better than just going straight in with a brush because I find that it doesn't go on too pigmented and it kind of mixes well with the other products on your face and doesn't look streaky. So once I apply that, then to add more oomph, yep, to add more oomph and kind of just to add a different glow, I use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and I lightly apply the color because this color can look straight up gold, as you can tell from the pan. And now the final set. I use the MAC Fix Plus and Pink Light. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to apply mascara to the lower lash. using my Kat Von D liquid liner in the shade Trooper Black and I'm just applying that over the lash band. Onto the lips, I'm using my favorite, or one of my top five favorite nude lip liners from MAC, it's the color Strip Down. I'm just lining my lips, concentrating. Beautiful, gorgeous. And then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Nude Kate. Oh my God, this color is so beautiful. And then um, my camera shut off, but I did apply Chanel Rouge Cocoa Gloss in the number 726 on top of that lipstick. And that is the completed look. Thank, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video. If you guys like this Get Ready With Me video, please let me know down below and like the video. Bye, guys.